Hello my friends and welcome! My name is Dennis and today we are going to find out what is the most safe commercial airplane in the world. Let's go! Dun -dun -dun, I don't have intro so let's just start. So my friends let's just get a little bit more serious here. Sometimes you just heard that the one aircraft is more safer than the other aircraft and that opinion is delivered to you with the help of social media or every type of media through your TV screen or your laptop screen or through your iPhone. I just realized that I don't have iPhone. And if you listen to aircraft designers, if you open some kind of video of aircraft presentation, they will tell you that their aircraft is the most safe, more efficient airplane in the world. But what we have in reality? In reality, those designers are right. In general, the aviation transport is the most safe transport of all. And if you take every type of aircraft, any kind of aircraft, which is in production nowadays, that aircraft will be very, very safe. Those aircraft manufacturers like Boeing and Airbus, they always compete for the clients, compete with each other. And it's very important to have a good reputation to be presented for the clients, for passengers. And you cannot present the unsafe product as Boeing did with Boeing 737 MAX, but it's not 100% of Boeing's failure and we'll talk about it later. We are humans, me and you, and we are making mistakes. It's our nature and we are not perfect. And what we design is not perfect either. And there is no any perfect airplane flying in the world. But which airplane is very close to perfection? Here we go, my friends. No fatalities, so no catastrophic events, no death casualties were recorded for this type of airplanes for entire history of operation. Boeing 717 is the same with MD95. So Boeing just bought McDonnell Douglas and started their own uh, production line. CRJ stands for Canadian Regional Jet 700 slash 1000. Tom, if you're watching me, I'm saying you hello. It's just my mate. We were flying in Garuda, Indonesia together. He used to fly this 1000 airplane and that airplane is superb. Next we have the King of the Sky, Airbus 380. Actually, some call it cow of the sky, but Actually, I like this airplane. Boeing 787, the Dreamliner. Dream of many pilots to fly this Dreamliner. Dream of the Dreamliner. Well, let it be. Boeing 747 slash 8. It's the next generation, the new generation of the Boeing 747 with new engines, new wing. Captain Joe is flying this airplane. Joe, I'm a little bit jealous. Superb airplane, Airbus 350. It's very nice looking, very beautiful looking airplane and yeah, I would like to fly it at least at some point of my life. Airbus 350, beautiful. Airbus 220, maybe it's better to say it's the S100 uh, Bombardier. Airbus just bought the program of this airplane and they name it Airbus 220. But nevertheless, this airplane is fine and it's the most modern, one of the most modern airplanes we have now in our world and it's of course superb as well. And the last airplane we have here is Airbus 340. Great looking airplane, four engine airplane. Unfortunately, it's not very efficient nowadays and this airplane is probably going to retire forever, it's going to be grounded forever and it's not so efficient as Airbus 350 and Dreamliner. So the time for these airplanes went just passed away. Well, we should continue. Zero fatality rate is absolutely awesome to have for every type of airplane. So these airplane types are superb, but whether they are safe, how many of these airplanes are in production or were in production or were produced? Well, not so many actually. See my friends, if you take the oldest aircraft types that we have in our list, for example Boeing 717 and Airbus 340, the Airbus is only 377 Airbuses 340s were delivered to airlines. For Boeing 717 it's 156 airplanes. So, not too much. The same we may say for Airbus 380, as far as I remember, it's 242 airplanes were built. 
and that airplanes are new so this is new this is new this is new this is relatively new this is brand new and those brand new airplanes they just don't have this long lasting statistics as other airplane types have uh, during the years and decades of their flying and their operation let's see those planes for now my friends i just want to make sure that it's understandable zero fatality rating doesn't mean that those airplanes are the safest in our world because of the low number of production so less flights were made and because some of the airplanes are brand new so you cannot put them in a one statistics with the older airplanes well guys i was able to find the fatality rating of airplanes that are widely used around the world and some of the airplanes i flew myself as a passengers and that one i am flying as a captain but what i want to say first before we go to the numbers well actually these statistics cannot give you the precise uh, precise view on every particular case on every particular aircraft type it's just numbers they won't tell you why the accidents happened why catastrophe case happened to a particular airplane it could be because of the aircraft wrong design or because of the wrong pilot action or other many many other factors so we have just dry numbers here and without any explanation those numbers just show us the possibility of life loss per million flights so if you fly 1 million flights on airbus 330 the possibility for you to lose your life is 0.19 which is quite low and that airplane is absolutely safe to fly it has almost the same rate with boeing 777 they are competitors even though 777 is quite bigger than airbus 330 but they have a good fatality rate because there were massive production of those two airplane types and you may find that there were thousands of those airplanes produced and they have a long-term history so i think that statistics data is true if you wonder where did i get those numbers well i have the link to website in the video description below you can check it out with the next two i'm a little bit confused because boeing 757 has the more fatality rate compared to boeing 767 and it's very similar aircraft types pilots have the same type rating for boeing 757 767 in a cockpit they're the same and the number of production is almost the same for both airplanes why well, why it's like this i don't know and finally the greatest battle of the universe airbus 320 and boeing 737 as you can see boeing won this race according to statistics so here we have for Airbus the same rate as for Boeing 767 actually and for Boeing 737NG only we have the death rate of 0.08 which is the lowest in our case and that means that according to statistics I fly the most safe airplane in the world nice to hear that so why it's like this the aviation industry is growing very fast and now you may see the new features were introduced into each generation of new aircraft type and you can compare them with the smartphone so every new generation of smartphones has new features in it so now you can pay it you can have so many apps but basically why do we need phones we need to call we need to write text messages and maybe internet it's the main features of it so my friends here are new modern brand new airplanes and here is boeing 737 i personally think that i can compare boeing 737 with this phone because it's quite similar uh, the 737 ng uses all technologies if you compare the overhead panel of jurassic boeing 737 one of the first boeing 737s 200 with the and G with the third generation the overhead panel will stay the same and all the sequence flows are mostly unchanged so this technology is proved to be reliable and yes my friends you may not find these new features inside the boeing 77 cockpit as you may find on airbus 350 for example but just recently i read the news about the airbus 350 brand new airplane engine failure that happened because the pilots inside the cockpit just spilled the tea on the instruments on a central desk so there were some kind of electrical shortcut and engine one of the engines just failed i cannot 
imagine it happening to Boeing 737 in G. It's very, very robust, exactly as this phone. What you need from the airplane is to deliver you from your origin to your destination in the most safe manner. So it's your basic needs as you can compare it with a calling on a phone. So your basic needs are okay with this airplane. Of course, in the future, there will be no place for this kind of airplanes as well as for this kind of devices. But those airplanes will be replaced with the most and more reliable technologies. For now, I'm just happy to fly Boeing 737. If you want to know more about it, you may check out one of my videos about the Boeing 737, whether it's good or bad. A couple of words about Boeing 737 MAX, the fourth generation of Boeing 737. It doesn't have any fly-by-wire system, it doesn't have any new systems and as you may find on new Airbus 320 Neo for example, but it has very efficient wing, very efficient engine. It should be the safest airplane of Boeing's, but something went wrong. Probably I'll make one more video about the Boeing 737 MAX and why those crashes happen, but it's not 100% of Boeing's failure. It's a common failure, human factor, pilot's mistakes, and also design mistake of Boeing itself. So combined, they led to the, those two crashes. Now it's grounded and it will go through the certification process, the unique certification process. No aircraft in the world done it before. So they will be looking through the every belt of this aircraft they will look through it everywhere and for sure i think boeing 77 max will be the one of the fa safest airplanes in the world i'm sure about it you may also wonder what was the fatality rate before those airplanes design well the first boeing the first commercial boeing is boeing 707 uh, had the day death rate more than four, so it's around 4.06 or something, uh, according to that website. Actually, it's even more 4.28. So the fatality rate is quite huge, and now it's very low with the new aircraft types. Hey, what is there? I see awesome guy. So you need to follow awesome guy checklist. First, like this video, then subscribe to my channel, then ring the bell, whatever it means. Thank you very much for your attention and have a great time. And don't forget to share this video. Thank you.